President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the victory for white life in the Supreme victory Court. Victory for yesterday. white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Dash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the election of Israel. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. And as always, Shalak Rayam to you demons. Uh, so this video is going to be a land back off the uh, lesson Elder Apostle Gabar did most recently regarding important quotes. Uh, in post, I'll add a picture of the actual lesson that the elder did so you know exactly where to go to to listen to it. Uh, needless to say, we got a bit to cover. I pray it's edifying to the elect. I'm going to respond to the uh, information he pulled from the 1925 edition of the Jewish Encyclopedia. For those uh, taking notes again, the 1925 edition, volume 5, page 41 to be exact, which states, Edom is in modern Jewry, uh, proving a large sum of the so-called Jews are not Israelites. They are of the line of Esau and seed of the house of Edom. After uh, some research myself, I found it was also in the 1980 edition, for those who didn't see the Apostles video, one of the resources he made reference to stated uh, the Encyclopedia Judaica, 1971, volume 10, uh, 23, pretty much cemented the idea for me by stating, Jews began in the 19th century to call themselves Hebrews and Israelites in 1860. You have to think if they, in fact, were the ancestors of the biblical Israelites, they would have been calling themselves the Israelites and not referencing uh, the nation as simply Jews, which really translates to a derogatory term used for the tribe of Judah, which is only one of the 12 tribes that make up the entire nation of Israel, uh, properly Yasharala, which means he is a prince of power or princes of power, again, speaking to the entire nation. For those of you not up to speed, you should go and watch the elder's video in its entirety if you haven't already. The quote the elder brought out that I want to focus on was made, actually it was made by Harold Rosenthal. And so let me correct myself by saying that this uh, land back will pretty much be on that. Uh, in any event, it was uh, the focus is on Harold Rosenthal who said, quote, we are God's people. Uh, most Jews do not like to admit it, but our God is Lucifer. I wasn't lying, and we are his chosen people. Lucifer is very much alive. End of quote. Um, again, really, I want to focus on, on the interview where the uh, quote itself was taken from. The resource I pulled it from is a booklet entitled The Hidden Tyranny. Our God is Lucifer, which I will make available for download from my website. The link to my uh, web address is in the About Me section of my YouTube page, as well as my uh, bit shoot. Uh, before we get into it, let's get some scripture. Uh, let's open with Psalm 58 and 3, and it reads, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Now, even though this Edomite and he is clearly an Edomite. There's no mistaking uh, this spirit alone. And, and that's all it takes. The, uh, in any event, even though uh, this Edomite, Harold Rosenthal, told the truth about who Esau Edom really is, he really revealed what we Israelites have been telling you the whole time, speaking to the so-called white man and his deceptive nature. Now, the book of Malachi 1 and 4 teaches that the wicked referred to in the Bible is not only about an individual who's guilty of evil acts and intentions, it is indicative of a literal nation of people, a race, if you will, whose uh, innate, meaning natural disposition, how they behave is subject to iniquity, meaning sin upon sin upon sin, uh, by exposing uh, himself and his contemporaries, meaning those he was in league with. Harold Rosenthal was living his truth. Esau's nature is to lie. He is, he is a natural salakia, born liar, as well as a killer. When you go into the Hebrew for estranged, the word 
uh, there is zawar, meaning to turn aside, to be a foreigner, as in strange, a stranger, profane or outside of the temple of uh, Yasharala, and namely this truth. It says here specifically to commit adultery. All one sentence. Uh, we know adultery to mean physical and spiritual fornication. Spiritually to serve idols and other gods. Esau is known to be and has been well uh, established as a polytheist. Polytheism simply means a believer in many gods. An example of that is uh, Roman Catholicism, which is covered in pay pagan deity worship. Uh, Babylonian and uh, Egyptian mysticism. The Greco-Romans who we have long established to be Edomites, the uh, first book of Maccabees in the Apocrypha, uh, for those not in the know, they themselves bathed heavily in Egyptian mystery school ideologies. Uh, let's go to Hebrews 12 and 16, and it says this. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Now Esau's carnal nature, leading him to the total and blatant disregard of his birthright, was an act of fornication in the spirit. And why Esau Edom cannot be saved. Ergo, there is no place of repentance for him. There is not a, a, a chance of turning back to the Lord for him. As far as he's concerned, he is God. Uh, to divide, Salakia, to defy the first commandment, i.e. forsaking who made you for something you made is the ultimate act of fornication. The uh, God the elite made, which they have pledged their undying allegiance to is Lucifer. Lucifer simply means light bearer or holder of light. To be a Luciferian simply means to be illuminated, meaning filled with the light, i.e. knowledge of the God they really worship, their spiritual counterpart, Satan, who we know to be not only a son, but agent of the Heavenly Father, an agent meaning delegated to carry out the Lord's, the Lord Yahweh's tasks and ultimately his will. The conversation had between Satan and uh, the Heavenly Father in the book of Job all but proves that. Psalm 58 and 4, before we uh, get to it, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Now, Esau's poison is his wicked philosophies, namely his religious practices. A good example of that is his Masonic pledge, take an oath shrouded in secrecy belief system, which too is littered with Egyptian occult magic and mysticism. The founding fathers of, Amer of America were not Christians as the history books would have you believe. They were Freemasons, hence all the Masonic temples and the Masonic infrastructure in, in Washington alone. Hence the Egyptian pyramid on the American uh, dollar bill. They were heavy in a human sacrifice, detested the Bible and its correction, and those a part of the order who told their secrets. If the elite rulership weren't able to slander the uh, whistleblower or destroy their reputation, they usually ended up in the obituary column. Uh, poison can kill you fast or kill you slowly over a long period of time. And Esau's blessing was what? The sword. This is why they are so skilled in deploying of uh, bio agents and biochemical warfare. You see what's going on in uh, Ukraine, uh, what they don't want you to know about. Um, another example of that, of course, is uh, communicable diseases like AIDS and monkeypox, who of course are man-made. Uh, viruses, vaccines, and even prescription medicines. They are the serpent spoken of in the uh, book of Genesis. That serpent was only allegorical speaking to a literal, again, a literal nation of people. Uh, their punishment for deceiving the nation of Adamites was to eat dust, meaning confusion for the rest of his days. Hence the white establishment that is built on and bolsters confusion. Um, examples of that, feminism, exalting women over men, same-sex marriage, transgenderism, GMO foods, polluting the same earth that is their home. He is the master of confusion and the uh, world leader of that confused mind state, you may know it as uh, democracy, is the United States of America, referred to in the Bible as Babylon. And what does Babylon mean? Confusion, the subtext by mixing. Mixing is in uh, Salakia, reference to America being known as that great melting pot of people, cultures, observances, and ideas. What more could lend to the body politic of confusion? 
the freedom to practice any religion, be it Satanism and Christianity, when historically the United States was supposed to have been founded on biblical principles and Christian fundamentals. Just take a look at its present day status. You'll see that that is just not true. Uh, for those who don't know, your local, state, provincial, and federal law enforcement agencies are also uh, fraternal orders. And because of that, you should never be surprised when they snatch another Israel li Israelite life. You should not be looking to them as the moral compass in terms of abstaining from wrongdoing. They will rob, kill, steal from you like the next man. And they are not there to serve and protect you. They are employed to serve and protect the interests of the elite, their masters. Uh, I know I've said a lot and we haven't even began to uh, sift through the article. What I'm going to do is just pull out most of Harold Rosenthal's uh, noteworthy quotes. The rest you can uh, read yourself and filter them through the scriptures. I guess I should preface by saying Harold R. Rosenthal was a Jewish administrative assistant to a high-ranking government official in Washington, D.C. and an obvious insider, at least in the eyes of uh, Walter White Jr., the man responsible for conducting the 1976 interview. And the fact that it was done so long ago and the information that is inside and what he he himself had um, unleashed for uh, for human consumption, it, it bears a testament to how wicked the wicked has been wicked. And uh, Charles A. Wiseman, who actually put the book, booklet together, he was other another source that actually uh, opened the eyes of, uh, of those, those readers as far as this booklet. Uh, th those two is where I'll be drawing uh, these references um, from uh, all together. Um, so I guess, let me start by reading ex an excerpt, finally, uh, from uh, for those of you who have ADHD anyway. Let me start by reading an excerpt from the booklet's introduction. And it says this, uh, this booklet contains the text of a most revealing and shocking interview of a Jew by the name of Harold Rosenthal, which was conducted in 1976 by a concerned patriot, a Walter White Jr. Uh, Mr. Rosenthal, an influential Jew learned in the Jewish ways and involved in the workings of government in Washington, DC, explained the Jewish involvement and cause of the major problems we face today. Uh, Rosenthal, in exposing certain aspects of the inner invisible world of Jewry revealed the modes and tactics Jews have used in destroying Christian civilization and covertly attaining control over lives and governments. Uh, the results have been a hidden tyranny upon us like the tyranny waged against the saints by the Red Bee system of revelation referred to as Mystery Babylon. Now, I should also say for the record that there is a game Esau Edom likes to play called Pin the Tail on the White Man. Uh, those so-called whites outside of modern Jewry will point their fingers at the Jewish community, labeling them as the Edomites and blaming them alone for all the uh, mishappenings, especially concerning uh, we so-called Negroes throughout history, like the transatlantic slave trade. Not the Trail of Tears, though, or the uh, massacre of and uh, buyer warfare waged against our brother Gad, the uh, so-called Native Indians. He has no problem with admitting that guilt. And likewise, the so-called Jewish in holding with the idea that Judaism uh, speaks to a religious practice and not a nation of people with a distinct practice. Yet, never does he refer to himself at large as a so-called white person. Both of them are full of horse pucky, okay? They are both of uh, children of the house of Esau Edom. The so-called Jews are in fact, uh, they come out of the line of Amalek. Amalek was the grandson to Esau Edom. All those all those that are, uh, you know, the testament to them is that they are, in fact, smallest in number, but they are the chief house of Esau. Today, they are the leaders in all facets of industry, hence them being so insistent in setting themselves apart from Joe Peckerwood or the average Texas redneck who classifies himself as purebred white. Uh, let me pull the, um, I guess the first real excerpt. I thought was scripture filter worthy. It says this at the uh, start of the actual interview. And, uh, and it reads, in a highly confidential interview with a Jewish administrative assistant to one of his nation's ranking senators, he said, it is a marvel that the American people do not rise up and drive every Jew out of this country. Uh, the Jew, Mr. Harold Wallace Rosenthal, made this statement after admitting Jewish dominance in all significant national programs, he said. We Jews continue to be amazed with the ease by which Christian Americans have fallen into our hands, while the naive Americans wait for Khrushchev 
to bury them. Uh, now, Nikita, for those who don't know, Nikita Khrushchev was the first secretary of the, um, the Communist Party of the Soviet Union who led the Soviets in the height of the Cold War. He accused America of piracy and trying to uh, destroy humankind. Uh, Harold Rosenthal ends the first interaction by stating, we, meaning the modern jury, have taught them to submit to our every command. Now, I mean, as far as filtering, you should know where I'm going with this. Uh, this is Job 9 and 24, and it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who. Who is he? Uh, the earth is given into the hands, meaning the world is ruled by. So for the unlearned, the question becomes, who rules the world? And, and that's easy enough. The 1%, the globalists, the elite banking families on down. They are the heritage of Esau Edom known today as the so-called white man who is not white at all, but red. Uh, it is he who controls the news, mainstream media, the entertainment industry. It is of no coincidence that most influential people in the world are related to prominent, uh, bear with me here, because I'm going to pull, I'm actually going to pull some notes here uh, regarding the uh, the level of deception that they go through in order to rule over you. Uh, now, where was I? Uh, that most influential people in the world are, in fact, related to prominent politicians and rulers uh, like uh, the British royalty. Did y'all know that Oprah Winfrey is related to Elvis Presley and Hillary Clinton is related to Angelina Jolie and Sarah Palin is related to Barack Obama and Halle Berry and Halle Berry is related to Madonna and Ellen DeGeneres is related to Kate Middleton and Larry David from uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm is related to the British monarchs. You know who else is related to Queen Elizabeth? Johnny Depp. And the list goes on. The so-called Jew who is the so-called white man and is a son of Esau Edom hold the position as the leading authority in technology, uh, health, education, military, the socio-economic, political power structure, period. At any given time, he can declare a global pandemic and shut it all down. Again, pointing to uh, Esau's blessing, uh, Genesis 27 and 38 through 40 speaks to his enjoying of the dew of the heavens, the fatness of the earth, which, uh, you know, speaks to the uh, best places in, in, in the world to live and uh, to visit and, uh, and, uh, and such. And of course, the sword, again, that's the uh, reoccurring theme here. Uh, that's uh, Revelation 6 and 4. He is the rider of the red horse. A horse symbolizes power, i.e. horsepower. It is he that has the power to murder, death, kill, and commit homicide. Uh, Luke 4 5 through 7 speaks to his father in spirit, Satan, who has power and control over the globe and how he manifests that control through his spiritual counterpart, his children Esau, who are the physical counterpart set up to rule the world and the other nations. And uh, while we're at it, <laughs> and that's the spirit, uh, let's go to Malachi 1 and 4 and it says this. Whereas Edom saith we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh the Lord of hosts, they shall build, which speaks to uh, speaks to the antiquities, namely when the Borgias and other ruling class families, mostly crypto Jews, regained power after the so-called Dark Ages, so named because the Israelites ruled Europe during that time period. Uh, they shall build today, speaks to the new narrative they used to bolster their agenda, building back better. They shall build, but Yahweh says, I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of what? Wickedness, i.e. the wicked, speaking to a nation of people. And there it is, the same people against whom the Lord Yahweh hath indignation, meaning righteous anger forever. And that's, I mean, you can't get around that. Uh, let's go back to the uh, article to further prove what I'm saying. Um, when asked how a nation could be captured without their knowing it, Mr. Rosenthal attributed this victory to absolute control of the what? The media. He boasted of Jewish control of all the media. And see, we've been telling you this for years. Uh, any newspaper which refused to acquiesce to control news was brought to its knees by withdrawing advertising. Failing in this, the Jews stopped the supply of newsprint and ink. It's a very simple matter, he stated. And again, CNN, 
Fox News, MSNBC, all corporate news outlets and their various affiliates are ran by the elite. And never think for a second that all alternative news sources are excluded from the illusion, Fonetta Chama, that Shalom to Elder Apostle Gabar, from the illusion of being the only news sources that present fact based journalism. A lot of them are under disguise and in reality are nothing more than controlled opposition. They are one of the many tools, the hands of the government, meaning the, uh, the ABC agencies, particularly the CIA used today to sell the narrative and to help police the people, pitting them against each other to give you a false uh, sense of comfort, if you will, by using the illusion of choice. There is no choice. <laughs> Y'all need to wake up. Reading on. When asked about men in high political office, Mr. Rosenthal said that no one in the last three decades have has achieved any political power without Jewish approval. Uh, Americans have not had a president, and this is a quote here, Americans have not had a presidential choice since 1932 when Franklin Roosevelt was our man. Every president since Roosevelt has been our man. Uh, now the question becomes, what about JFK? One of the... Uh, long-standing reasons why most say he was assassinated that day at Dallas is because he was so outspoken in his opposition of the Federal Reserve. Uh, matter of fact, the same theory stands for uh, in the, uh, the uh, sinking of the Titanic, which was supposed to be unsinkable. <laughs> How'd that work out for y'all? Uh, the idea being uh, because uh, J.P. Morgan, I believe, was planning on forming the Federal Reserve, he needed to take out any rival millionaires who were against the idea of instituting a central uh, bank in the U.S. Uh, they needed to be removed because apparently their oversized pockets posed a threat to the Fed's uh, success. Uh, Charles Wiseman, who again put this uh, book together, adds um, here in the, uh, the uh, interview slash expose, uh, even before Roosevelt, the Jewish influence upon Woodrow Wilson, 1913 to 21 was quite evident. As Henry Ford wrote in uh, 1921, Mr. Will Wilson, while president, was very close to the Jews. His administration, as everyone knows, was predominantly Jewish. From the book, The International Jew, Dearborn Publishing Co., uh, three, page 28 and 29. And so I'm not at all surprised, uh, you know, by that excerpt in particular, because you have to remember it was Woodrow Wilson that signed the Congress approved Federal Reserve Act into uh, law in, uh, it was 1913. Uh, what never said is it was the elite bankers who got Wilson elected in the first place by splitting the Republican Party vote. Okay, uh, let me read you this excerpt from uh, Hustis Mullins. And it says this, speaking of the six plus senators, uh, bankers and financiers that were whisked away to uh, Jekyll Island to craft what would become the Federal Reserve Act under a cloak of uh, secrecy. Although these men were the most influential financiers in the U.S., they were present at Jekyll Island merely as the emissaries of Baron Alfred Rothschild. If you don't know who that is, then you just don't know. Uh, who had commissioned them to prepare legislation establishing a central bank in the U.S. modeled on the European fractional reserve central banking organizations of the Reich bank, the Bank of England, and the Bank of France, all of which were controlled by the house of what? The house of Rothschild. You know, I'm going to James 5 and 1, and it says this, go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Uh, speaking to the filthy rich of Esau, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the, the DuPonts, the JP Morgans of the world, all will be brought to their knees when Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh returns to recompense them for the wickedness they have inflicted on the earth and for the cruelty he has visited on the apple of Yahweh's eye, we Hebrew Israelites, are starting with the elect of Israel, of course. He has no choice but to weep and howl, okay? Uh, what else is he going to do when he's faced with the same adversity and the same hellish conditions he made us face in our captivity? cotton picking and, and cutting cane and picking tobacco ain't even a half. Esau is headed for a world of pain and not to mention regret. He ever gave up his birthright for uh, the equivalent of a happy meal. And did I mention the large ass whooping with the, uh, the extra missiles that he's about to eat? Too? Here come the pain. 
Esau. Uh, Deuteronomy 25 and 17 says, Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way when ye were come forth out of Egypt. Ergo, never forget what these small hats did to the nation of Israel. Never forget their hands in our enslavement. Never forget they helped finance the slave trade by buying the ships. What did Amalek do to us as a nation in captivity? Remember, not only did he ambush us, but he hindered our passage out of Egypt. He did the same in the form of Cristobal Colon, a.k.a. Uh, Christopher Columbus, who was a so-called Jew when he arrived on the western shores. He hinders us today in our efforts to remove the chains and uh, flee bondage with Hollywood promises and music industry dreams with professional sports, with advertising, and again, the media. They influence and economically corner the market of all industries. And what does that do? It holds us captive and subject to the wickedness of Babylon. We can't escape it because we think to be all you can be is to actually walk in his image, right? And you know where I could go with that, but let, let, let me stay on the path here. And this is James 5 and 2. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Uh, there is no amount of money in the world that will enable the wicked to escape his judgment at the hands of the Heavenly Father, okay? And that's just it. The Federal Reserve System and its central banks established all over the world now has uh, every nation in turmoil. And so what of E's reputation? Think about the dozens of countries indebted to uh, the IMF. Uh, who do you think is responsible for the military going into uh, destabilized regions, the hitmen who are sent in to wreak havoc on economies, uh, the uh, puppet rulership set up to further oppress the people. Damn right his riches are corrupted. Esau's wealth was obtained by what? Ill-gotten gains. Don't even get me started on America and the reason they attained superpower status other than the will of the Lord, of course, was because of forced free labor. What about the uh, once almighty petrol dollar and now more than ever, it's not even worth the paper it's printed on. Why? Because it's backed by nothing but numbers on a screen. The way he established his wealth, corruption. What is considered riches on the earth is not riches. Real wealth is gold, silver, livestock, crypto. He's coming with crypto dollars and interest rates, inflation, all corruption. And your garments are moth eaten, Esau. You are exposed. Everyone can see you for the ass you really are. Uh, you know, I read this verse a couple of times before I put this lesson together and it dawned on me that moths get to feasting where and when in the dark. Remember how Esau carries out his wicked acts in the dark, in secrecy. So the garments, i.e. the cloak he used to cover his misdeeds, man, you got chinks in your armor, Esau. It got holes in it. The wealth he has used to establish his dominance on the earth and his prominence will definitely come to naught. Uh, let's pull one more quote, but really I want I want brothers to read the booklet. It's uh, only 40 to 45 pages long. And again, don't let Esau pass the buck on you, so to speak, and lose you in the confusion. Amalek is Esau and vice versa. So-called Israeli small hat or home on the rage redneck shit kicker. They are all of the same house and the same ilk. Okay, now listen to this. We can live among other nations and states only as long as we succeed in persuading them that the Jews are not a distinct people. What did I say in the beginning? But are the representatives of a religious faith who therefore constitute a religious community, though this be a peculiar character. As a matter of fact, this is the greatest of our falsehoods. It says the Jews have established five major falsehoods which work to conceal their nature and protect their status and power to wit. The Jews are Israelites and thus, uh, it says God's here, I'm reading it for, verbatim, God's chosen people. And I gotta switch it up here. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, was a Jew, meaning a small hat. Uh, that six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust during World War II, okay. Newsflash, uh, that all races are equal and that all, bro all are brothers. Absolutely right. We are not equal. We're not all brothers. Get that out of your goddamn mind. That shit don't exist. That's confusion illusion. Uh, number five here, that the Jews are just another religious group. Yeah, right. Uh, we are obliged to conceal our own particular character and mode of life so that we will be allowed to continue our existence as a parasite among the nations. This is his words. These are not mine. These are the words of Harold Wallace Rosenthal. Our success in this line has gone so far that many 
believe that the Jews among them are genuine Frenchmen or Englishmen or Italians or Germans who just happen to belong to a religious denomination which is different from that prevailing in these countries, especially in circles concerned with government, where the officials have only a minimum of historical sense, we are able to impose our infamous deception with comparative ease. Therefore, there is never the slightest suspicion that we Jews form a distinct nation and are not merely the adherents of a confession. The, once, the one glance at the press which we control ought to furnish sufficient evidence to the contrary, even for those who possess only the smallest degree of intelligence. Now, all that being said, or should I say read, there are a, a plethora of scriptures that come to mind here. Um, you know, the first is a Psalm 64 and 8. Bear with. And it reads, uh, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. For uh, Harry Rosenthal and his admittance to the overall treachery established throughout the earth by Esau Edom uh, in the name of his uh, practice of Judaism uh, <laughs> and just being a, a, a uh, so-called Jew. His tongue fell on his own self, literally. At age uh, 29, he was killed in what was made to look like a skyjacking attempt of an uh, a, uh, Israeli airliner. And of the uh, four people killed out of the 30 injured, he was the only one that didn't die from a stray bullet. I mean, come on, you put two and two together. Now let's go to uh, Isaiah 25 and 7. And it says this, and he will destroy in this mountain, and he is, of course, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Speaking to the uh, nations of the earth and how they are blind to their own true identity and the truth, which is the Bible, it also speaks to the ignorance of those who are outside of the truth as to who really controls the earth's rulership. Uh, not your federal government. Uh, those behind the scenes who most refer to as the deep state are the ones calling these shots. Uh, mountain here in this verse is parabolic talk for Esau's government. The world's true rulership is in the hand of the elite globalists. The uh, covering cast is in reference to the names and the uh, political designations the people of the earth are being called today, like Spanish and uh, Italian, German, African, Egyptian, Arab, and Let's not forget the social constructs of white and black. There is no such thing as white people. Uh, the designation of a white race didn't exist until it was written into U.S. legislation uh, in uh, 1681, uh, created by Esau to afford him rights and opportunities over people of uh, so-called color. Uh, no one is black. You're either red, which is the true color of the so-called uh, white man, uh, today, or you are a different shade or different shades of brown. Black is a negative connotation intentionally utilized by the wicked to demonize so-called people of color and convince the uh, ignorant and the uh, misinformed uh, in the world over that uh, it's no possible way that the biblical Israelites could have been so-called Negroes, Latinos, or Native Indians. They are a base people. They are, come on, look how they live, right? That is the mentality. Uh, when the scriptures, uh, never mind common sense, proves that Israel properly, Yasharala, were historically a royal people and a people of color. Uh, there are 18 nations of the world that the Bible clearly identifies as the true nationalities that inhabit the earth today. The veil here spoken of in uh, Isaiah 25 and 7 is simply the false names we are known by, the denominations Esau has set up to create borders and control whom he calls masses or uh, Goyim and the uh, and of course the cloak he uses to maneuver covertly meaning unseen while he conducts his wicked and evil acts. Let's close with this. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10 uh, straight to the point and it reads, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. Meaning Esau Edom no longer can hide who he is. We see you and the Peekaboo, the whole world sees you. We all know who you really are. Uh, his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not, meaning Edom and his nation will be no more. Uh, the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, is explicit in identifying his seed, 
his uh, brethren and his neighbors, i.e. the other nations of the earth responsible for, uh, well, standing confederate with him in our, our enslavement and how they themselves are going into captivity in the uh, made a new kingdom of heaven as punishment for their iniquity against the nation of Yahweh's people, starting with the elect. This is uh, one example of what it means to be spoiled. Jeremiah 30 and, and 16 says, um, and I guess we'll close out with this. Uh, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for prey. Call Halal Yahweh Barshem Yahushai Barshem Rakakodash through the power of spirit. I hope you edified. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach this a hundred percent truth and rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Remember, no yes, no yab, and damn sure, don't take that chip. Shalom Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Ababa Ball.